Our friends at Caesars Sportsbook in Vegas think they have an excellent chance giving them the second best odds to win their division behind only the New Orleans Saints. And for more, let's bring in the man who pulled it off. This is the Buccaneers general manager, Jason Light. And Jason, thank you very much for doing this. I, I'll just ask you as, as simply as I can. How did your team land the most accomplished free agent in NFL history? Well, you know, I'm asking myself the same thing every once in a while. It's It feels kind of like a dream. Uh, it's It was a great acquisition for us during this time when, you know, a lot of things that's going on in the in the world with the health crisis. It's It's been a nice escape to know that uh, we have uh, Tom Brady. Um, you know, it was two weeks ago today that, you know, the, the legal tampering or the negotiation period started when we made the first call to his agent. And it seems like two months ago now. But uh, when we made the first call at 12 o'clock um, and he said, you made a good decision to call. Uh, we knew that we might have a very good chance of getting him. And, and just take us through it from there, as much as you can tell us about how that process worked. Well, we we spent a lot of time this off season, as soon as the season ended, um, meeting, evaluating every quarterback, every player, like we always do, but especially quarterbacks that we thought would, you know that could be potential UFAs. Uh, coaches, my scouts, did an in depth, very detailed. Uh, work uh, on all of them and planning on all of them, which one of them could potentially help us and upgrade us at the position. And Bruce made it clear in some interviews that it, Tom Brady was one and, and we did not leave uh, Jameis Winston out of the plan. Um, as soon as Wednesday rolled around and we were able to talk to Tom Brady, uh, we had a great conversation. Bruce and I, we talked to him for over an hour and a half and he made it clear in the conversation that uh, he was very, very interested. It was almost like a recruitment on his part, telling us why it would make sense for him to come to Tampa Bay. And the next the following day, we signed him. But it was at that phone call that we realized that uh, we felt like, uh, you know, we, we had him. There have been a lot of conversations, of course, about his advanced age. He'll be 43 when the season begins. And some of the numbers from a year ago, some will attribute it to not having a lot of weapons. What did the tape show you relative to his arm and what you feel he has left right now? Well, the tape to us showed that he had plenty of arm. And, in fact, we thought that he had, you know, an ideal arm for Bruce um, in his system. Um, he can still throw it deep. We felt like the mobility was still the same as, as he's always had, which... He's never been able to outrun anybody, but he certainly is mobile, uh, good in the pocket in terms of eluding pressure and with his poise and his instincts. Um, we did not see a decline in his arm talent whatsoever. And in fact, we feel like, you know, he could still play for two, over two years for us. And hopefully that's the case. One other thing I'd like to ask you about another uh, unrestricted free agent, of course, is Antonio Brown. And your coach had some pretty strong comments about him last week. But I would ask you about your thoughts on Antonio Brown and any possibility that he's someone you might look at? Well, we feel like there's a lot of teams that are struggling to find one really good receiver, and we have two really outstanding receivers in, in Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Uh, right now, um, you know, there's only so much money that can go around. There are no plans to sign any other receiver um, um, at this time. Um, Antonio is somebody Bruce has come out and had some um, words about, and Bruce knows him better than all of us. So right now, I would just say that we're uh, focused on other areas of our team. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.